In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace and peace of the risen Lord be with you all. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to all who are watching us on, online, near and far. Let us call to mind our sins as we seek the Lord's mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and to bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed into the image of our heavenly maker, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. You may be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, you said by the Holy Spirit, through the mouth of our father David, your servant. Why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples entertain folly? The kings of the earth took their stand and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in this city against their holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed. Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with the boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal, and signs and wonders are done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. As they prayed, the place they were gathered shook, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of the God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Why do the nations rage and the people utter folly? The kings of the earth rise up and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. Blessed are they who take refuge in the Lord. He who is throned in heaven laughs. The Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them. He terrifies them in his wrath. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. The Lord said to me, you are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. 
Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man once grown old be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from, or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. So after eight continuous days of hearing resurrection appearance stories from our Gospel writers, we begin this week of, of, of our gospel reading from the third chapter of John's gospel. And it's a, a very strange, mysterious conversation that Jesus has with Nicodemus, who is one of the religious leaders. And so why did Nicodemus come at night? He was still in the dark. He wanted to be enlightened by the light of Christ, but was cautious. Later, Nicodemus would get a reprimand from his fellow Pharisees for suggesting that Jesus wasn't getting a fair trial. After the Lord's crucifixion, he came out of the shadows to provide myrrh and aloes for his burial, and tradition honors him as one of the early active Christians. In our reading today, we continue to read from the Acts of the Apostles, which is the, the history of the early Christians. Peter and John had no uh, hesitations at all. They confidently healed a lame man at the temple gate in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And then they boldly explained their action before this hostile council of religious leaders. They had been transformed by the Holy Spirit, born again from above. They would no longer hide out in fear of suffering Jesus' fate. After their release from prison, the Spirit came upon the assembled group in a mini Pentecost, reminding them about the source of their new boldness and courage. Being born of water and the Spirit is more than a good feeling. It also sets us on a risky path. The force The forces mentioned in our psalm today, which is from Psalm 2, have not retired. Many powers in our society, or even in the church, still stand arrayed against the Lord and his anointed with their polarization, extremism, greed, 
and self-righteousness until they are, according to the psalmist, ruled with an iron rod and shattered like an earthen dish, we are challenged in this Easter season to count the cost of daring to walk in the light of the one whom the darkness could not overcome. Sisters and brothers, let us pray. For all members of the church, that through the power and grace of the Holy Spirit, we may grow in unity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civil authorities and all who strive to lead nations and peoples, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from racial or ethnic injustice, may Christ grant them strength and perseverance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of believers, may the Spirit of the Lord continue to embolden our lives of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may they rest in the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Francis Slatiker, for whom this Mass is offered, and for what or for whom do we pray for today? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our cities, especially in Minneapolis and its suburbs, we pray to the Lord. We make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. You may be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness. We have this bread to offer you, fruit to the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. O Lord, you are indeed holy, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, your people spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, the Martyrs, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We pray the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress and anxiety as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith and courage of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. You may be seated, and Mo will start dismissing you. Have a nice day, everybody.